people can get over infidelity, people can get over betrayals, people can get over cheating. What people will not get over and refuse to get over is any games that are played after, afterwards, after D-Day, after a disclosure. So one of the things that I recommend is <clears throat> if you, if your intuition is telling you something is off, something is absolutely off, I can't pinpoint it necessarily, but something is off, I wouldn't just half-heartedly ask your spouse, are you cheating on me or have you ever cheated on me? Because you're going to get all these different things. How would I? How could I? How could you accuse me of that? Oh, whatever. I would really go in, and again, not if you have all these childhood traumas and your intuition's all off and you have an anxious attachment and you're codependent. I'm not talking about that, if that's you. I'm talking about if you absolutely, man, you could almost bet your soul or your child on the fact that your partner's um, being unfaithful or was unfaithful or something along those, those lines. Walk into the battle zone like this. Sit them down and say, listen, I'm fairly certain I know you are doing A, B, and C, or you did A, B, and C, or you're thinking about A, B, and C. Um, I, I'm not going to tell you how I know, but I'm pretty much certain of it. Now, you could either tell me now, because I'm willing to, to stay in this, I'm willing to work this out. If you give me complete honesty right now, and I'm talking about transparency, where you're answering questions, but if you're going to play games, then we're going to go about this the hard way. And I'm going to have to become a detective, and I'm going to spend money that we shouldn't have to spend money, and we're going to take a polygraph, and I'm reaching out to your coworkers, and you know, and you lay it down what your method is going to be. And let them know if you're even considering or thinking right now as I'm talking, how am I going to get out of this? I strongly recommend and advise you stop that thinking and you just say, you know what, let me come clean. Because he or she just said, I'll do my best to stick with this. I'll do my best to get over this. I'll do my best to stay here and let's heal together. But don't play with me. Don't play games. Because we can get over betrayal. We can't get over the games people play afterwards. So again, if you know that you know and you feel it in your gut that somebody did step out, thinking of stepping out, did step out at some point, is lying, whatever, don't just ask them, are you doing A, B, and C? Because then you start getting a bunch of gaslighting responses. You come into it with some information. Listen, I have your passwords on your social media. I know your coworkers. I t we're all connected to the same people. Um, I, maybe I heard you say something in your sleep. Like I said, it, I'm not going to disclose right now how I know. What I'm doing is giving you an opportunity right now to save your marriage. I'm giving you an opportunity to save your relationship. I'm ready and open to hear whatever you have to tell me, but I want to hear it from you. If I hear it from somebody else, I can't say I'll stay in this relationship. So I want to hear it from you. Now, if you don't want to tell me this second, that's fine. I'll let you go think about it, but your nails in the bathroom. But I need you to come back to me with the quickness and tell me the truth. I'm in it right now, but you play games with me. I can't guarantee that. Just letting you know that. Keep me posted. Hope that helps.